No, I thank you, Mr. Meek. I, pre I appreciate, the, uh, appreciate the point. Talk about record profits. Let's, let's talk about, let's put some meat on the bones here. 311% increase in profits for the oil industry from 2002 to 2007. Now, it may just be a coincidence that that time about correlates with the moment that they started sitting in those secret meetings, Mr. Meek, with Vice President Cheney's office to negotiate this new energy policy under the Bush administration, but I don't think it's a coincidence. I think you can directly correlate the moment at which the oil companies started seeing this 311% increase in profits begin with a moment in which they were led in the door to start writing America's energy policy. Because that's what happened. We put two oil men in the White House, in the president and the vice president seat, and we got, as a result of it, the highest gas prices in the history of this nation, a 300% plus increase in the profits to their friends in the oil industry, and families having to make decisions about whether they feed their kids or whether they fill up their gas tank to get to work the next day. That's not coincidence. That's not chance. That's the result of putting two people in charge of this administration that made their fortune in the oil industry and who have friends that they've allowed into the room to write the very legislation that has led to the situation that we're in today. And it's not just conjecture. I mean, let's take a look just in the last year and a half at what we've been doing here and who's been standing in the way. Now, this is probably not readable to the speaker and to our colleagues here, but you can get the picture here. The Renewable Energy and Jobs Act that we passed just a few months ago, investing millions of dollars into renewable energy that would actually compete with the oil industry, would make us energy independent, as we talk about all the time, veto threat from the President of the United States. The, the Gas Price Relief for Consumers Act that held OPEC and the oil companies accountable for price fixing, for getting together and trying to decide what the price of oil should be. The President, once again, threatens to veto it. Common sense legislation, repealing the subsidies, the tax subsidies that that energy bill that the oil industry wrote, repealing those tax subsidies, and instead, this just seems like common sense, turning those subsidies that the Republicans and the President were giving to the oil industry, instead give them to consumers and small businesses and people who want to invest in things and energy technology in their homes to get them off of oil. Another veto threat from the President. Cracking down on price gouging. 56 Republicans joining us on that bill. Veto threat from the President. Again, a second bill, this time with 125 Republicans supporting the measure to go after the Republicans, for, to go after the OPEC countries and oil cartels for price, fix, price fixing. Another veto over and over again. This Congress, in the last year and a half, doing what we were sent here to do, to represent and stick up for all of those middle class families out there that are getting it stuck to them at the pumps. The way we see that we can do that best is to go right at the people who are getting rich off of these exorbitant oil prices, those oil companies. And every time that we have done it, virtually every time we have done it, we've had a president standing in the way. And it continues. We just found out, Mr. Meek, the other day that this administration has been helping the oil companies negotiate no-bid contracts to get their newly found oil out of the fields in Iraq. It is so, Mr. Meek. It is so, because this is just going to go on and on and on. So long as we continue to have the same people in charge of the White House and the administration's energy policy, we are going to continue to see these record profits for the oil industry and see a neglect on behalf of the administration to come to this Congress and work with the Democrats who are trying to turn this whole thing around.